morning. My name is Susan Jane and I'm the Intuitist. And this morning I'm going to talk about testing the theories again. Now I've spoken to you about how I test the theories as far as creative visualization goes and you can read that in another blog. But in this one I wanted to talk to you about how I tested the theory on astral traveling. Now I had experienced leaving my body earlier during during a horrific attack I had on, placed on me. I had also experienced it in a near-death experience. So I'd left my body twice already. Um, both times through, one, once through um, shock and the other through uh, a near-death experience. So this time I wanted, no not this time, but I decided after reading about astral travelling, I decided I wanted to this time leave my body deliberately so I had a little bit more control. So I'd read a few of the books about it, I did a lot of reading, I read a few of the books about how, what astral travel is, how we can do it, what, we, what it was all about. And I practiced, I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. So every night I would lay in bed and I would visualize myself astral traveling and do all the things that um, these books tell you to do. And because I did a lot of reading, I would take books, I'd take information from one book and, and use that and other information from another book. So I never really sat with one book, I always would blend them all around. So I can't tell you how long it took me, but I remember doing it, being quite proactive at doing it. And I, every morning, uh, every evening, as I'd lay down into bed, I would think about doing my astral traveling, what I could do, how I could do it, where I would go, um, and different things like that. There's a couple of ducks over there that I'm trying to show you, but they've gone behind the bushes. So, I did this and as you can imagine when you're focusing on something for so long when it happens it gets a little bit exciting but with astral traveling if you get a little bit excited you go back to your body <laughs> so you've got to be really cool calm and collected so because it's all an energy aspect when you start to show um, other forms of energy which is emotional um, aspect emotional energy um, yeah, it changes everything so there's a little facts so um, what had happened was this particular night I went astral traveling well I got out to the driveway I could remember going over the driveway and it occurred to me that I was flying I was flying just like Peter Pan I was actually flying over the driveway and heading to the road because when I did my astral traveling I was going to my goal was to go over um, Double Island Point and all of a sudden here I am probably I don't know two meters off the ground which is about six feet off the ground and I was actually flying and oh my god I got so excited straight away I went oh, I'm doing it I'm astral traveling and before I could even finish the sentence in my mind I was back in bed and <laughs> that was the end of that so I tested the theory it took a little while to come through I know it can be done do I need to do it anymore no probably not but I know it can be done so test the theory it's great fun to try these different things um, whether you go with it whether you want to or not doesn't matter but just just test it um, I know it can be done when people talk to me about astral traveling I know I know it can be done it's great I love it so that's Susan Jane I'm the Tuitist I will say bye for now and let your spirit take its journey wherever it needs to go to all the very best have a great day